Hi guys, my name is Barton. Welcome to your 10th tutorial on ISO 8583. So in this particular video, we're going to look at the encode and the decode method. So uh, this particular method is going to loop through all the fields that we have and call the encode method. Okay, so what it does is th loop through the fields that we have in our map, all the 129 of them. So what we are doing is actually calling get field, all right? So this get field method actually gets the field that is actually here, right? Based on the index, which is also the ID, right? So this is just buffers for storing the field value and the field encoded value, right? So if the field ID is one, right remember our field start from zero all the way to 128 so field zero is the mti field one is our bitmap okay so a bitmap is a special field so if our field is field one if our field is the bitmap then we need to convert that uh that integer array to a string of ones and zeros okay because remember the bitmap is a fixed bin field all right the bitmap is a fixed bin field so we need to convert all the content in the bitmap array which is an integer index the one that we were flipping every time we set a value right so we have to convert that array into a string of ones and zeros okay so that is going to be the field value for field one okay so but one before we actually go ahead and set the value we need first to set it in two halves all right so first of all we'll set the value from 0 to 64 once we do that then we're going to call encode right so this encode method is going to do all the magic right whether the val the bitmap is encoded in ascii or in bcd you know this method knows how to do that okay because we already did that implementation for a fixed bin field okay yeah so after we encode that now we need to check whether the secondary bitmap is set if the secondary bitmap is set then we need to set the value okay we need to substring field value from 64 okay so we're going to set the value but in this particular case we're going to start from 64 because we already have the first 64 which is the first bitmap right so we need the second bitmap because our secondary bitmap is set right so we set the value and then we encode all right but after encoding note that we are not overwriting the field value we are actually appending what was originally there all right now if the secondary bitmap is not present then we need to replace this field value originally what was there because remember the field value here is 128 long right this length the length of this particular guy is 128 okay the length of this guy is 128 so this has to be 0 to 64 only if the secondary bitmap is not set okay so i hope this you've understood this particular part because it's really important for you to get that now the default case is going to apply for the rest of the field so here we're just going to get the value so this is just for purposes of printing it out but the encoded value is what we get once we call field.encode so basically what we are doing we are going through all the fields and then we are calling encode on it okay now remember the compound field also has a value okay so the value of the compound field we are going to concatenate it on each iteration so the field value for each field 
we are going to append that to the value of the compound field. And we are going to do the same for the encoded value, all right? And then on each iteration, we are also going to print out those values just for debugging purposes, right? In case we get an error, well, guess what? We just throw this particular error and it's a good description for you so that you can know where you've actually screwed up. And then after that, return encoded value, right? So you see, this looks more or less the same as the other methods, okay? But this is a, just a compound field, all right? So now let's go and look at the decode method. The decode method now does the reverse, right? So this is the head index that we've been seeing in the other methods, all right? So the head index is going to start from zero because if we have a fresh string, then the first index is filled, is index zero, okay? So here we also have another loop. So just doing the same thing, we get the field, and then we have a field value here, right? Now here, we're going to buffer the next head index on every iteration, okay? Now here, we have a special case for field zero. So if field, if the field ID is zero, which means if the field ID is the MTI, okay? If the field ID is the MTI, remember the MTI is not included in the bitmap, so you have to pass it manually, right? So what do you do? You just decode, all right? And then this, you're actually substringing from the head index. This, this is a fresh message. So this is going to be zero. So you substring the message from the beginning. And then that particular message, you pass it in to the decode method. All right. Remember the decode method returns an int of where the next decoding is going to begin. Okay. And then the head index is going to advance uh, next head index times. Okay. Right. Now, after you decode, you just call the get value and you store your value there, okay? So this is actually what you have, all right? This is your value that you're storing here. So this I'm using just for debugging purposes. So if it is field one, this is our bitmap. Now here we are doing the reverse, right? So we have a next head index and we have a head index. So the head index is going to tell us where to begin decoding, right? So it's next head index plus what the head index was, in this case zero. So you decode from that particular point and then you increment the head index and then you decode, okay? Now remember that the bitmap is 64 long, okay? You don't put 128 here. The bitmap is 64 long, all right? So since it's 64 long, you have to have a way of knowing whether there's a secondary bitmap. And as we said in the encode method, if the first bit is one, then it means that there's a secondary bitmap present, okay? So if the first bit is one, then go ahead and call decode again, right? So basically just do whatever you did here, all right? So once you do that, remember the field value that you have here, you have to append that because you're getting this uh, content in two halves, all right? And then after appending, you have to actually set the field value again because now you have two, or rather the field value is twice as long because you've decoded twice, all right? And then we have this particular method here, which is actually supposed to set the bitmap, okay? So here we are doing the reverse of what we did in the previous method. So here we are converting the string of zeros and ones back into integers, okay? So that's what we are actually doing here. So this is going to be an integer, this is an integer array, okay? And we'll use this for the other fields. Now, fields that are higher than index one 
are just regular fields and the, their presence and absence is denoted by the bitmap so what i'm doing here is checking if the corresponding index in the bitmap is set if it is set then i decode that field if it's not set then okay i just skip and go to the next one okay so this is the field value that i'm just appending here all right uh, and uh, this is just to print out the content so i'm just skipping out any empty content so this is just for debugging purposes okay so if you have an error if you have a runtime error then just throw an unpack exception and uh well you know what to do with that and then the decode also returns the head index okay so that's it for this particular video guys uh in the next video we'll be creating a variable compound field okay so it's going to be similar to this one but it's going to have an additional section where we actually encode the length right because remember this is a fixed field so the length is predetermined okay the length is predefined right so but as you can see though the length is predefined we are not actually using it anywhere in our code because it's not really relevant you know it doesn't make any sense to have that for this particular fixed compound field but you can add that if you like because uh, i'm going to be putting this code uh, in github so you guys can get it and uh, you know work with it the way you like right so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching guys